All right, darling, same outfit, different context. <laughs> okay, go ahead and come down to your seat. Starting off where we left off on the playlist too. This is another, that's what falling in love is for, is another kind of danceable song. Um, that being said, go ahead and come into a comfortable seated position. We are going to do butt and sunbeat today, okay? So left, letting the crown of the head lift, settling down into our seat, shoulders roll down and back. Nice deep inhale through the nose. And exhale. So moving on from that space of simplicity, right, into the space of joy is accepting what is. Some of us open naturally to joy while others need to cultivate it more carefully. For most of us, the subtler aspects of Santosha elude us from time to time. Everlasting joy cleaves to us through cultivating the understanding that we hold the power to our happiness. Even if temporarily lost, our joy will soon return, as it is the lifelong reward for attaining wisdom. In South India, there's a heartful way of expressing one's appreciation. Instead of saying, thank you, they say, Santosha, I am content. Nice deep inhale. And exhale. And at peace and content with oneself and others, supreme joy is celebrated. Again, from the book, The Secret Power of Yoga by Nishala Joy Dabi. Always starting up our practice from a space of gratitude. We give gratitude to the universe, all the things that we have seen, and all the things that are completely unseen and out of this realm. <laughs> we give gratitude to this earth, as she reminds us that we live in a space of abundance, that we have everything that we need, that we have to be better about our systems, about asking for help when we need it, about sharing the resources that we do have. We give gratitude for the indigenous peoples of these lands up in Alaska, where you are at, the Diné. Here in Missoula, the Salish, the Kootenai, the Kalispell, the Blackfeet, and the Ponderay tribes. We give gratitude for this practice of yoga and for black and brown people as the original creators and sustainers of this practice. We give gratitude to our bodies and to ourselves for showing up on our mats, for recognizing our need to heal and for putting in the time and the work. For our own ancestors and our own lineage, recognizing their truths and untruths, their trials, triumphs, tribulations, and transgressions, and understanding it is our responsibility in terms of how we move forward to repair damages and done and to create a more sustainable and peaceful world. I don't want to say more sustainable, sustainable and peaceful world for our nieces and nephews, ending children, all of the things. And for the person or persons, place or places that you would like to dedicate your practice to today, you can take the time to do so now. Nice deep inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and slowly blink open your eyes. Look around your space. Here, there. Just kidding. Smiling, right? Trying to smile throughout the this practice today. That might be one too. Um, you see me in like yoga classes, like, <laughs> like so serious and angry. Anyway. All these things we need to let go of. Let's go ahead and roll over our knees and shins and just get into it today. So knees are underneath hips, wrists are underneath shoulders. Kind of shift back and forth side to side a little bit. 
checking in with the stack of the femur bones and the hips. Nice deep inhale here. Toes are tucked and inhale into your cow. Exhale into your cat. Inhale into your cow. Exhale into your cat. One more time, inhale into cat. Exhale into cat. Inhale into your table. Take the sole of the right foot up so it points up to the sky. And then we're gonna pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Big inhale. Exhale, extend through the leg, extend through that left arm. I'm not marrying you. Pulse it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Big inhale. Sweep that hand back and around. Grab onto the inside of the foot. Kick into the hand. Big inhale. Exhale, slowly release. Hand comes underneath your shoulder, knee underneath your hip, and then inhale into cow, exhale into cat. Inhale into cow, exhale into cat. Inhale back into table. Same thing with that opposite leg. So left leg, flex the foot, check in with where the knee is, if it's flailing out and all that type of stuff. Check in with your actual foot and then pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Big inhale, extend through the leg, reach through that opposite arm. Big inhale, pulse it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Big inhale, hand and knee come down to mat. Inhale into cow, exhale into cat. Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. And then go ahead and tuck the toes and take the hips back and high down dog. Nice deep inhale. You're gonna pull that right leg up to the sky and you're gonna pulse with the foot flexed in three-legged dog for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, big inhale. Exhale, drop that foot down, press back, stretch through that right glute. Same thing on that left hand side, left leg comes up, bend in that knee, check in with the elbows, check in with the just distribution of weight of the body between both hands and that right grounded foot and then pulse. Again, I'm not mirroring you for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one big inhale. Exhale, drop your foot, press back into your down dog. Exhale, come down to your knees. You're gonna lift, I will mirror you this time, your left leg and put your left knee back underneath your hip. Lift fire hydrant and down we go for eight, seven, six, five, for four, for three, for two, and one, knee comes down, inhale into cow, exhale into cat. Again, inhale cow, exhale cat. Inhale back into table, same thing. Knee lifts, it comes back down. We go for eight, seven, six, for five, for four, for three, for two, and one knee plants, toes are tucked, inhale into cow. I exhale into cat. Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. Inhale back into table. Hips move back and high, down dog. Pedal out through your heels. And then spot right in between your two thumbs. Step, step. Feet come up to meet hands. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, come down and over the tops of the thighs. And 
and inhale. Sweep yourself all the way up to stand. Arms come high to the sky. Exhale. Hands move down to heart line. So we're going to run through sunbees for the rest of this flow. So inhale into your chair pose. Reach through the fingertips. Think about your hips being hip width or feet hip width distance apart. Hips move back and on every inhale, the chest lifts. Exhale, sit back. Inhale, chest lifts. Exhale, sit back and inhale, chest lifts. Exhale, dive down and over the tops of the thighs. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Step, step, feet back into a plank. Nice deep inhale, lower down. Inhale, forward facing. Breathe into the base of the belly. Exhale, roll over the big toes and the hips back and high. Nice deep inhale. Right leg, high to the sky. Let's move that knee wide to come to the outside of that right tricep. Send it back and high. Again, big circle out to it. Back and high, one more time. Big circle out, spot your left thumb, or right thumb, excuse me. Step your right foot up to meet your left. Off your right toes out and over, I'm nearing you. Inhale. Arms come high to the sky. Big inhale here. Drop your back heel, warrior one. Check in with your hips, right? And then slowly bring yourself down and over. Hands plant, step that left foot back, lowering and lifting. Big inhale. Roll over the toes, hips back and high. Right leg, same thing. Big circle, right knee right. Move it back and high. Knee comes out and around. It moves back and high. Knee comes out and around. It moves back and high. Spot your right thumb. Step your right foot up to meet your right hand. Pop your left toes out and over. Inhale. High crescent lunge. Exhale, drop your heel. Warrior one. Inhale, arms are high. Exhale, pivot and come back down and over. Hands plant, lowering and lifting. Big inhale. Exhale, roll over the toes. Pulling up, up and in on the low belly. Take the hips back and high. Spot right in between the two thumbs and then step, step. Feet come up to meet hands. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, come down and over the tops of the thighs. And then inhale. We pull ourselves back into our chair. Oops. And then exhale, ground down through the feet. Bring yourself up to stand. Same thing again. Inhale, sweep. Up into your chair. Exhale, dive down and over. Inhale, hands to shins. Flat back. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Step, step back into your plank. Nice deep inhale. We lower and lift. Big inhale, exhale, roll over the big toes, hips move back and high. Same thing, right leg high to the sky. This time, let's cross body, right knee, left elbow, leg moves back and high. Right knee, left elbow, leg back and high. One more time. Leg moves back and high. Spot your right thumb. Step your right foot up to meet your right hand. And hop your left toes out and over. Inhale. Arms high. Exhale. Drop your back heel. Warrior one. Inhale. Lifts. Exhale. Down and over the top of the thigh. Hands plant. Foot steps back. Press back through the heels and shift forward. We lower and lift. Big inhale. Exhale, hips move back and high, pedal it out. Same thing, right leg, high to the sky. Right knee, excuse me, left leg, high to the sky, left knee, left elbow. Leg moves back and high. Left knee, left elbow. Leg moves back and high. I'm really messing up today with my words, girl. Left knee, right elbow, cross body, leg moves back and high. And then spot your left thumb, step your left foot up to meet your left hand, right toes, hop out and over. Never wearing this top to flow again. 
inhale. You couldn't even sleep in this top because your tits would be out of it anyway. This top's like this, and it's also a top that I think if you sweat in the summertime, you'd sweat through it. I don't know. It's just one of those tops you apparently sit and watch TV with. Nice deep breath. <laughs> Exhale, pivot on the ball of that foot. Bring yourself down and over, and step. Right foot back to meet left again. Press back through the heels and shift forward. We lower and lift, big inhale. Exhale, roll over the toes. Hips move back and high, squeeze the low belly. Spot right in between your two thumbs and step, step your feet. Come up to meet your hands, inhale. Sweep your hands alongside of your feet and lift yourself up into your chair. Big inhale here. Exhale, ground down. Lift yourself to stand. All right, inhale, arms come high. Exhale, come down and over the tops of the thighs. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back, and hands come down to your mat. Let's go ahead and heel toe your feet out. Turn your toes out and off mat. Inhale, arms are gonna come high. We're gonna squat really low. Inhale, arms high, exhale, squat. We go for eight, seven, six, for five, for four, for three, last two, and one, big inhale. Heel toe your feet back to midline. Inhale, arms high. Exhale down and over the tops of the thighs. Hands plant, step, step. Drop down to your knees. Nice deep inhale here. And then exhale, send the hips back towards your heels. Nice deep inhale. Coming into your child's pose again. Crawling your fingers out in front of you. Your forehead is down to the mat. And then slowly walk your hands back towards you. Rock over and onto your seat. And bring yourself all the way down and on to your back. Fingertips are gonna graze the back sides of your heels and you're gonna pulse for eight, seven, six, five, for four, three, two, one, big inhale. See if you can ground down through that right foot, take the left foot high, pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, cross that ankle over the top of that thigh, lift and lower for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, slowly release. So the foot comes down, press up again. Maybe you roll your shoulder blades underneath you a little bit more. Leg comes high, pulse, up and down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Big inhale. Exhale, cross that ankle over the top of the thigh. Press. Big inhale. Lower and lift for eight, seven, six, five, for four. For three, remember to breathe for two. And one, slowly lower, release the foot. Press up into your bridge. Rock your shoulders underneath you. Take your hands and interlock them and pull them towards your glutes. Maybe come onto the balls of the feet, lift. Big inhale here. Breathe into your biceps, your arms, your chest lower the low back down to kind of sit i like to kind of cup and cradle and then take the hand soles up to the sky 
it depends on how your elbows are and how your arms feel here, right? Be very mindful. Big inhale. Exhale. Two more big breaths, big inhale. And exhale, last one, big inhale. Exhale, slowly release. That makes my chest itch. And then go ahead, super weird. Um, give yourself a nice big hug here. Rocking back and forth, side to side. And then relax and release. Let the soles of the feet come all the way down to the end of the mat. Let the toes flop out to the side. Arms come down to the side, palms face up to the sky. Coming in to your shavasana. Nice deep inhale here. Touching earth, planting something new. The law of cause and effect is always at work in our lives, and this card is telling us to bring a greater consciousness to the casual seeds we're planting in our energetic fields. The angel of the rainbow is sending a spectrum of light and color to nourish our highest intentions and help them grow. And we can use her assistance to cultivate the destiny we desire. It's time to consider the garden of your dreams and take action that will produce beautiful blossoms and a bountiful harvest. Is there a new project you get to begin? An image or an idea just forming in your mind? These seeds of inspiration are blessings from the universe. And we are the gardener being called to bring them to fruition. On a practical level, this card can indicate some new or increasing activity in the natural world. You may be creating an actual garden for yourself, a place where you can draw on the peaceful energy of the earth. You may even consider opening a chef flower shop or pursuing a career in a field related to agriculture, horticulture, or the like. You may also find yourself volunteering to clean up the environment and plant some trees or help our mother earth. Always remember to plant the seeds of optimism, self-love, and belief in every goal. I feel like I'm at church in every area of your life. For out of that energetic garden grows expanding joy. Affirmation, I plant the seeds of my future in every present moment. I nourish my destiny with action and joyous expectations. Nice deep inhale. And exhale. And when you're ready, you can slowly roll yourself to your right or left hand side, coming into fetal, and then press yourself up and into a simple seat. Hands can come to your heart. They can also hang out on your knees. Palms face up to receive more energy, palms face down to ground. The divine light, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, and the divine love in me sees, honors, and reflects the divine light, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, and the divine love and the collective we and all of us. Thank you for sharing your practice with me. Dear Jane and all of the folks who are tuning in today, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> uh, but trust in me with your bodies, hearts, spirits, and souls. And that I will say, go in peace and remember to serve love always.
Thanks so much. Love you. I will see you soon on the flip side.